Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. A uh, question I get asked all the time is, how do you apply different uh, notations and advanced modeling concepts um, and use them together in some of the complex organizational processes that need to be developed? And, you know, it, it's a great question and what I thought would be fun would be to produce a series of videos in which we combine some of these notations and concepts together. And so this is um, intended to focus on the concept of throwing and catching uh, message events um, in combination with event-based gateways, as well as using service task and user task, um, all within a 2B um, process for patient healthcare or the enrollment of patients. And so, Let's dive right in with our Trisotech workflow modeler. One of the great features about this is that we're able to do process animation. And so in this example, we can depict our patient uh, who provides the, in essence, the triggering event or um, by request of a new patient, um, that information triggers our process. And so, in this example, we identify that we need to collect the patient's email because in our 2B process, it's all about making things as automated as possible. And so by collecting the email um, and submitting that, the system will send out a patient portal link. And we're able to depict that using the user task, collecting the information. And then once that activity is complete, information, that link is sent back to the patient who now controls this process. Um, and this is the start of that message throw, message catch, um, and the combination of event-based gateways. And so, you know, the key, one of the key characteristics to remember about the event-based gateway is that it is, in essence, designed to model when events occur after. And so, in this example, um, we use the event-based gateway to indicate that um, there are two possible paths. Um, the first being that um, the patient sends back or completes the form and we receive that. Um, and, and the second process path is after three days, that event is triggered and the process continues. Um, I'm not going to go down that path right yet just because I wanted to walk through the, in essence, the ideal path or happy path using throwing and catching. And so we threw the process. Uh, through the information over, the process control is at the patient, and they, it's up to them to sim submit the new patient form. So we'll model that they do. The information flows in, the token is then connected to the exclusive gateway, which is an important concept that, that we'll talk about here in a second. Um, brings the flow back in, and now the system, using the service task, is automatically going to take that pre-populated form that they'd filled out and update the patient file in the system. Upon completion of that activity, we use again the exclusive join and, uh, to describe the, that the token flows through because we we're not waiting on anything and we can end our process. But let's walk through um, what happens if we don't receive a new form. Uh, the patient doesn't respond. Um, same, iter uh, a different iteration, but this time uh, a different step. So again, throwing the information, the control to the patient. However, um, the event, our business rule in essence, is that after three days, if we don't receive anything from the patient, um, this, our process is gonna continue um, and an email reminder is sent to the patient. And here again, we're gonna use the throwing concept, throwing back that control, because we took that control back with the three days, the intermediate event here. Um, but now we're gonna send it back and send that reminder. And again, using the event-based gateway, we can model that we receive it using the message, um, intermediate message event or catching event. Um, catching that we receive the form, the system's going to be notified when they submit it, and or uh, another intermediate event, giving them a little longer time, um, and we'll walk through that process in a second. Again, it's the events that occur 
after the event-based gateway is what we're trying to really capture here because it's going to depend on what occurs. And so in this next example, the process flow, we can say that, oh, the patient got the reminder and they completed the form. So the information is going to flow. We connect into the exclusive gateway and we can update the patient file. Again, the same activity that occurred using the service task um, and our process can end. And in our last or third iteration of this, we'll walk through again. We receive the information, send out throwing and catching, but this time three days pass, nothing. We send it out again. And again, patient has control, but our business rule is that in essence, after seven days, if seven days passes, when that event occurs, our process will continue. Our automated process uh, to bear in mind is that after seven days, if we don't receive anything, uh, the link, the encryption link, um, it goes away. They're not able to log in or access because they didn't register. We, you know, we want to make sure that's secure, or we don't, you know, we 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 stay up on refreshing the 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 security um, parameters. And so at that seven day mark, again, all automated here. Uh, the process continues, and, but with the caveat that we're going to, the system, we, the system is going to flag the patient file. And we use a little, again, the service task um, to illustrate that type of function that's going to occur by the system. And, and for the sake of context or um, explaining a little better in terms of the, the process itself for stakeholders, we put a little text annotation on here that describes on the day of the appointment, Upon patient check-in, the system notifies healthcare receptionist of missing documents and information required to complete check-in. And it's in essence a flag that would pop up saying, here, collect this. Um, and again, this is gonna flag the whole check-in process. This is another process. Um, and the token flows into, again, the exclusive gateway and our process can end. And it's important because anytime that you do an event-based gateway, you need to, in essence, provide options for the token to flow back into the main process, especially when you have multiple paths to take. Um, you could have used an end event here or two end events, um, but we thought it'd uh, flow the token back into the main process and end with a single end event. And so, as we produce these uh, videos, um, if you have any specific concepts, um, modeling notations that you'd like us to cover, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, your feedback, the communication that we've received from other pra practitioners has been great in increasing the knowledge of how we can apply this, um, but more importantly, how we can be build better models as a, a collective team in essence um, and apply some of these advanced concepts to some complex problems.